So welcome to day four of our series of trainings on the basics, the basics of FFB360. Uh, the goal of this training, like we started four weeks ago, is to ensure that we demystify uh, FFB360 so that uh, those that are paying can have value and that the non-managers can also see it as a simple tool that they can use to build their business. And that's why for the first four weeks, we'll fo our focus is just on the marketing tools. Our focus 100% is on the marketing tools because we strongly, strongly believe that yes, the way FFP360 is designed, it's helped to, it's designed to help you strategize using the data, that, the data that you have available. However, if you can't generate those data, then there is nothing, there is no, <laughs> no need, nothing to analyze. So that is why we are starting for the past four weeks. We started with the marketing tools. And uh, last week, last week, we looked at the landing page. The landing page is an important, is an integral aspect of FFB260. And I know for sure, I know for sure that everybody, everybody is interested in what their landing pages can do for them. Everybody's interested in being a landing page that is interactive, being a landing page that is productive, being a landing page that will represent represent in totality what they want people to see, what they want people to know about their business. So today is, um, like I said, today we're gonna to take it one step, one step forward. We're gonna take it one step forward. I know we are, uh, this is the end of the month. I know um, a lot of us, a lot of us are busy. We'll be going to complete our case credit, our business, going to meet customers so that we can close strong. So we're going to be very, very fast with today's, today's training. We're going to be very, very fast with today's training. Let me just go to... Our goal today is, is simple. Our goal today is to build... Our goal today is to is to build something like this, something like this, to make you have have a landing page that looks like that looks like something like that looks like this. This is the landing page I built for the promotion of for the promotion of Rock the Boats. I, I talked about this last week. This this landing page was specifically built to promote to promote the EMR EMR24 specifically built to promote EMR24. And our goal today is, is to see how, how we can guide you towards building something, maybe not something exactly like this, but something as close as possible to this. Everything, everything definitely is based on what you want. Everything is based on what you want your customers to see and what you want your customers to do with your site. So we will start, we'll start right away. Um, the first point as usual is to go to FLP360. If you go to FLP360, you go to your landing page. Let me refresh this so that you will see. You go to your landing page. If you go to your landing page, like we said last week, if you, if you want to set up if you want to set up a landing page, so you click on the gear button. You click on the this gear button. Click on the gear button so you can put your story like we said last week. Put your story, put everything. Always remember to save. Set up your social links and also choose, choose your primary domain. Once you choose your primary domain, definitely all other landing pages you are going to, that you are going to create are going to take their name from whatever whatever name you give your landing page. Whatever name you give your landing page, all the rest are going to take their, their names from, from there. So we did this last week, and I, I strongly believe those that are following that you've properly set up set up uh, your landing page with your personal with your personal information. Now, having mm -hmm. done that. 
like I said last week, we have series of landing pages. I don't know what you are seeing on yours. We have series of landing pages that the home office, if you have not, if you have not built a landing page before, definitely you will see series of landing pages that the home office has made available for available for us. And uh, but if you have built before, like I have, and I am still <laughs> almost every 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 week I am building, I am building at my free time, I try to I try to build landing pages. I try to see what is what is what is new on FF360. What FF360, what new thing FF360 can have in stock, what new thing FF360 can give me. That is me. So uh let me show you some of the landing pages so that you will see that once we start it, there are so many things you can you can do. If we look at this, well, la, it's telling me not found. Let me see what's wrong with it. Okay, let me go back a bit. Where I'm coming from. So know what is wrong with that name. Okay, something is definitely wrong with this. Definitely wrong with this with this page. I'll look at it. This is not the time to look to troubleshoot and know what is wrong with it. But if you if we look at this, okay, I've I've seen the I've seen the problem, but okay. So you also be able to build something like this. This is this is a page. This is a page I built for. This page was was newly built. So. You see the entrepreneur in you, and uh, so let's go straight into it. So I just wanted to show you samples so that you know exactly what is what's what's what we are looking at, what we are, some of the things that we are we are looking at today that we can do with FFP260. So, like I said last week, if you look at if you go through your landing pages, there are so many products, product related pages that the home office, product specific pages that the home office just added so you can now pick either of these and promote like the like promote it the normal way that we we, we we talked about however if you want to build your own specific landing page and you want it to look to look fabulous to look like this like this let's say let's let's take this as, as an example if you want your page to look like this like this, you want to be, you want, you want to put your own pictures. You want to have your own images. You want to, you want to design it the way you want. You want to remove one or two sections. This is possible. And welcome to today's class. That is what we want to look at. That's what we want to look at today. So let's start. Let's start. So the first thing you do, the first thing, the very first thing you do is to come here, launch, Launch a page builder. The very first thing you do is to launch a page builder. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. If you're following me, just come to launch page builder. So once you click on that, once you click on that, you, like we said last week, three options are open. Three options are open for you so you click on select i'm selecting this guy because this is this is my multi-purpose so i've selected that uh, let's give it a name what do you want us to build guys just just give me a name what do you want us to build if you if you're giving me a name it must be i mean everything that we are going to remember we are building we are building now something Something that we want to we want to use for a particular purpose. Okay, let me say let me say rock the boat. Let me say rock the boat. Blossom, 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 blossom will mean I have to get a lot of materials to suit that because I want us to build to almost complete this today. Uh, we can build. We can, we can do blossom. We can do. Let me say rock the boats. Uh, 
Guys, remember you can call it, don't forget you can call it anything. You can call it anything, anything, depending on what, whatever name, don't forget, whatever name you put here, right, is going to, the, the name of the site is going to be your primary domain slash that name. It's going to be your primary domain slash that name. So you can say EMR, Ego Manager, or you can say Retreats. Global Incentive. I want to use something that is something that is catchy. So I just called it global travel. So you choose your you choose your main language. Definitely, our main language is English. Like I said last week, don't forget what this button is meant for. Don't forget what this button is meant for. Please, if your team members are still not here, try and try and reach out to them. Especially non-managers. I've been saying this, especially non-managers, because I. After this training, people people send me different messages, and those, some of those messages are very, 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 very. I, mean, I don't know how to put it because they ask questions that I mean, you begin to ask if they are if they join the training or not. So please, uh, please send out send out uh, uh, messages to your team members so that they can be part of this. So you enable this, enable notification. This is very, very key so that once somebody visits visits your page, definitely, definitely, it's like a tracker. Once somebody visits your page. It will be nice. So you create. So you create the page. So we just created a page, a page now. Let's allow it to, to boot. Fine. We just created a page. Now the name of the page is global. That we just created is global. See, you can see global travel. Global travel. Like I always say, you can come here, you can increase this guy a bit. So that let it let it let it let it be big. So I want, I can change the color. Something more attractive. Change the size a bit. Yeah, global travel, make it bold, fine. Okay, good. So you see, it's in line with, it's in. Now, once you have done this, now this is the this is the normal template. This is the normal template that you know. This is the normal template that you know, right? The normal template. So this is what everybody will have, but you can you can begin to work on this now. You can begin to work on this. Now the whole page is divided into sections. It's divided into sections. You have the banner page, you have the first content, you have the you have the contact me page uh, section, you have the video section. You have the content, so the, the content one, I have the content two. You have the join section, which is here, which is here. You have the product section. And lastly, you have, you have this section title. Now, depending on what you want to do, depending on what you want to do, you can do this in five, you can finish this in five minutes, five, 10 minutes if you're, if you're very, very, if you're very, very fast. Can finish in five ten minutes. Sorry, the first thing I want to do is let's go like we did last week. Add, add some languages. Add some languages. Don't forget you can add French if you want to create a a robust a robust very very robust uh, uh, website. You can add French. Don't forget is is key. You do this. This is you can add French. You can add. You can add Spanish. As Espanol, you can add Espanol, Espanol. So you can add Spanish. Because why why are we adding this? Because you want you want your you want your website to be robust. You want you know when you go to when you visit website, you see people will change. People will be able to change, change to, to, to their language. People will be able to change their language. So this is what you also want. This is how you also want your website to. So I can, I can add Italiano. That is it. it. 
So I'm adding the basic, the core, the core languages. The core languages. And lastly, I want to add uh, uh, Portuguese. So <clears throat> now these are the languages that I've added. So the meaning is that anybody that speaks these languages, if I share my sites, if I share my, my 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 page to them, definitely they can select, they can go back and select that particular, they can go and select that particular language. So, but let's go to Italy. So let's sorry, let's go back to English, which is our, our basic language that we are that we're building our sites, our site with. Now, having done this, having done this, you've done the first part. The second part is to come to this care button here. And begin to ask yourself, okay, fine. What do I really want? Give this page a description. Are you saying? I'm just putting the putting the page description. Putting, putting. So I can also, so this is this is a, the keyword. Like I said last week, will help you. So that when you when you promote your page, people will when people put those keywords, definitely, definitely, your page will. Your page will. Will come up. You can put as many, add as many keywords as possible. You can also put ego manager. You can also, if you want to, if you want to make it vast, you can put allo. You can put, uh... okay. So these are just a few keywords that I have here. So you close this. So this is gone. So you go to layout. Now, once you come to layout, now this is this is the section where you can remove any of the pages that you don't want. Any of those pages that you don't want. Remember, this is conventional. This is conventional. Anything you don't want, this is the time to remove it. Some people will say, okay, I want to build my site. I want to build my site. I want it to be 100%, 100% business. I don't want, I don't want product related information there. So you can just come and you remove the shop. If you remove the shop, to be sure, let's be sure you removed it. You can see the product aspect, there's no product anymore. So it doesn't have anything product related. But again, why would you why would you build your shop? Why would you build a website without without return on investment? That is, if you don't want the product to be there, fine. This is you can do that. Like I said, everything is totally dependent dependent on on you. Everything is dependent on you. But let me put let me let me reintroduce the product because there's something I want at the tail end. There's something I want also you to also also know. So this is so that is where you remove it. This is where you remove. This is where you add any of the any of the aspects you don't want. Just just click. You can click on, on banner page. You can click on connect. You can click on contact form. Contact section one is the first one you saw. Contact section two is the second. So contact section one is this one. Contact section two is the other one that is that is below. 
So as you click, they will continue to they will continue to leave. Like I said, this this part is the, is where you where you get people's contacts from. Where you get people's contacts from. So what do you want to collect? What are the information that you what the kind of information that you want to collect from people? Look, I care less about what your your company, but your email is important to me. Your first name, uh, I don't want to bother you with that. I don't want to bother you with your last name. So your full name will, is okay for me. Your address, I mean, people don't like giving out their addresses, so don't make it easier for them. So just remove address. So, but you have the email, you have the full name, you have the phone number. I think these three details are key, are key. No, I wanted to. I wanted to refresh again and see. Let's see how far we've gone. We're gradually, 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 gradually coming up. Okay. Now this is where the work is. Now this is where the work is. This is where the main formatting start starts. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I want you to pay attention. I want you to follow me. Now you come back to this guy. When you come back to this guy, look at this. If you click on content, when you click on content, you can see everything is. Nothing is showing. Nothing is showing. However, if you go to the if you go to the to the HTML contents of this of this of this site, you will see that they are filled up. They are filled up. But for you to be able to recreate it, so you need to you need to do something to yourself. The first thing I'll ask is you ask yourself, okay, what kind of what kind of banner page do I want to have? What kind of banner page do I want to have? A lot of people say, okay, I don't want, I want this alvera, alvera plantation to be there. If you want alvera plantation to be there, then just keep it. If you don't want the alvera plantation to be there, you can also remove it. You can also remove it. So you come here. You come here. This is, these two spaces, these two here, right? These two control they control this banner image they control this banner image but the first thing you need to decide is what kind of image do i want what kind of image do i really really want so let's say you don't have any image if you don't have any image oh you can leave it but if you have an image the first thing you need to do is that you need to convert your image to a url you need to create a link for your image a lot of people have images, but they don't know how to create links for their images. Now I will show you how to, I will show you how to do that. There is a a guy I I I you I normally use every time I use I use this. I use this guy. If you are seeing me, I use I use imgbb.com. Imgbb.com it is free. You can subscribe. I mean, if you want to pay, you pay, but it's there's a free version. There's a free version that you can use. The whole idea is that you want to create a URL for your image. So you want your image to fit in perfectly, but you don't want you don't want to you don't want the person to have the image, but you just want to, to give them a link that once they once they click on that link, definitely, definitely they will have access to your access to your image. So before now, I have I've downloaded quite a whole number of a whole lot of images. Uh, let me a whole lot of images, and uh, because we are talking about rock the boat, I'll prefer to use I'll prefer to use a C. I'll prefer to use the image of a C, right, as my banner, as my banner page, as my banner page. Now, one thing is key. Let me show you. Let me see. Okay. Have a whole lot of images. So the first thing I want you to do is you come here, you come to IMGBB. I mean, you can you can Google yourself. There are so many there are so many uh, websites out there that you can use to create to create URL for your image. So you click upload. If I click upload, it's asking me to share. Is asking me to share, so I come to my image, and you see, I have a lot of a lot of images here. Majority of them are 
talk about are just about the global rally. So I picked this image. I will pick this image. Now this image, this the image I just picked, the image I just picked is the resolution is so when you sorry, when you pick the image, let me finish before I tell you the resolution. You click on upload. Once you upload this image, you come down and you pick this URL. You can see that's created a URL for us for that image. So you copy the URL. That's why I said it's slightly, you just, just have to do one of you, one or two things and it will be, will be good. So you come back, I'm trying to see where, okay, yeah, this is the one we're using. So you come back to, you come back here, please and please watch, watch what I'm gonna do now. I copied that URL, I put it here, but the URL will not run. It won't run if I leave it like that. Let me show you. If I if I put this two here, but I tell I just told you that these two control this image. If I put it and I just say okay, what will happen? It will remove the image there before and come up with a blank page. Right? But it did not replace it with my image. It did not replace it with my image. So what I just, what I've done is to, I've successfully removed that, but the image that I created the URL link for was not properly copied. So I need to edit it a bit. So you just come and look at your image and say, okay, what is wrong with this link? Definitely there's a repetition somewhere. So you have URL equal HTTPS, blah, blah, blah. Forget, don't worry about that. Just clean clean one so you're supposed to just have one https for a particular url so you just remove it fine my image is okay now and it should be my link is okay now and it should be able to run so i okay it again and voila you see i have changed i've successfully changed changed that image that image to so yes, we are talking about we are talking about the sea. We are talking about cruise. So I I that image is good for me. Now, one thing you need to understand about about the banner page of the London, the banner page of uh, FLP three sixty, the resolution or the dimension is three eight one by one ninety, three eight one by one ninety. So if you have if you have if you have any image, try as much as possible. Get it to three eight one by one ninety. How can you do that? It's also simple to, it's also simple to do that. So you just go to your laptop if you want to do it. You just go to your laptop. There are so many things on our system, but we don't know how to use them. You go to your laptop. Don't employ anybody to do this for you, please. It's very very simple. You go to your laptop. You type on. <clears throat> That's why I, wa I wanted as many as many young people as possible to be here. So when you come to your laptop, you click on the window window button. You just do you, you just do you just pick this guy. It's always in every laptop. Paint paint three D. So if you click on paint, okay, you're not following me. Okay, let me see. Let me share. Let me share. Let me go back and share this. Yes, let me share my share this part of the screen. Okay, I guess you're seeing my screen now. Okay. Now, what I did earlier, let me show you what I did earlier. Okay, let me show, show you what I did earlier so that you'll see. What I did earlier was simple. I just came here. I clicked on the window button of my laptop and I just just tick paint. If you click on paint, it will give you pick paint, paint 3D. Paint 3D is, is simple, it's simple to use. You can add your image. Add any image you want to add. Is it? That is, if you don't have, if you don't have an image, so you can pick any image. 
you can pick any image. I, I just picked this this past global uh, rock the boat image. I just added it here. I just added it here. So you can just do this and pick a dimension. Just pick a dimension. You put the dimension here, 381. 381 and 190. You see, 381 and 190, I have this. I have 381 and 190, depending on what you want. Depending on what you want, you can you can get it so that you can make it such that the image will be there. But once you have this and save it, definitely it will give you the resolution that you are looking that you are looking looking for. So that was how I got <clears throat> that was how I got this. Now having said that, so this man is done, I will say the return the return of rock the boots now this is this i can change the color of this and say i don't want it in i don't want it in dark color i want it in something slightly dark Slightly dark because of because of blue. Okay, fine. It's is it's, it's looking it's looking like more like it now. So you come here and say, let me go be fast so that we don't waste we don't waste too much time. You see this one I used I used rock the boat image. So let me come here and copy exactly what I used here. So that. So that you see us, I want you to see us. We create this this site as fast as as fast as I can. So you come here, you remove everything here. So as you can see, it's, it's editable. You remove everything here. And just paste paste what you just copied. You paste what you just copied and so once you just paste what you just copied, is you are good to go. You come back and I called it EMR. Now you can you can come up with your own. Remember, you are designing. You are designing something. You something that your friends, something that your friends can can relate, or your team members can relate with. So you come. Let's change the font a bit. No, let me change the font first. There's my font here. Okay, let me change the font. Make it slightly centralize it. That it be something I find. This is it's looking good. Looking good. I can come here and come here. I don't want this image. I want to replace this image. This image has nothing to do with my team. It has nothing to do with what I'm looking at. It has nothing to do with it. Okay, I have um, I have a picture of I'm trying to see the best one that can represent. I can decide to put rock the boats. Let me see. This is this image is slightly too small for me. It's slightly too small for me. I don't want this. I don't, I don't want this.
No, this is tautology. It's rock, rock the boat, rock the boat. No. Okay, let me use let me use something that will represent people inside the boat itself. This image is too large. Okay, need to come. Okay, good. Good. This is, I got this picture from the past, uh, past EMR. The first rock, the boats. So now you have done this. You can add. You can add images if you want to add images. It's simple to add add images if you want to add images. Let's say I want to add an image to this now. You see, I just brought the text down. If I want to add an image, I come here. I click on the image button, and which image would be befitting to add? Okay, I want to add. Uh, I want to add uh, something about trees. Okay, this is a picture of it's almost done. Let's let's just wait for it to. I hope you're following. I hope you're following. If you're following, just say just say yes. If you're following, if you're following me, just type yes. Let me let's know how you're I hope you're following. Okay, good, 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 Mr. Kulu. Thank you, thank you. If you're following, please just type yes. If you're following, just type yes. Okay, fine. Now you have this is this is just look at how our page is coming up. Every you can put anything you want to anything you want to put. Remember, you chose the sections. Now this is for people to people to to submit their interests. That is, if they're interested. You can also you can also say that, that you can put interested let's put an exclamation mark So the 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 the, the first the, the next thing is this part. People always tell me that oh, I don't want this video. Can this video of aloe vera gel is there? This video of the aloe farm is there? What can we do? CSM? Uh, how do I? So people end up removing this section. So they just end up removing this section. But you can change this video. You can change this video to a video that you want. Now let's go back to let's go back to the to this girl. Now, if you look at if you look at it, we've successfully dealt with this. We've dealt with this. Now, on the video, it's called testimonial video source. Testimonial video source. You can see if you if you drop this down, there are two. There are only two two uh, video formats that this can accept. It can accept videos from Vimeo and videos from YouTube. Videos from Vimeo and videos from YouTube. Now the meaning is that you can't you can't just upload a video, you can't upload a video from your 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 laptop. A lot of people try to say, okay, I need to upload a video from my laptop. No, you can't you can't do that. You can't do that. So we are going to still go the same way we went. We are going to create a link for the video, and those video those links must must come from either YouTube or from Vimeo. They must come from YouTube all from Vimeo. Now, what's the trick here? The trick here is simple. The trick here, because a lot of people have tried it. They said, I see some, I tried it. I, I, I couldn't make, it's not, it's not doable. I wasn't able to do it. How did you do it? Now, I will show you exactly how, how, how you can remove, you can remove that, that video fast. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is to go to Vimeo, come to Vimeo. Come to Vimeo. If you don't have a Vimeo account, it's free. You can create a Vimeo account. You can have a YouTube account. Just create, create a Vimeo or create a YouTube account. That is free. 
However, if you don't have, if you don't have, you can just go to our YouTube, our YouTube page, Forever Niger TV, Forever Nigeria TV, and just copy the video link there. It will also work. Copy the video link there. Now I'm going to copy this link on from my Vimeo. So I'm going to this. So this. So this is the new EMR, EMR promo video, and that is the that is this is suitable for for the site that we are building. It's very very suitable for very suitable for it. So I have copied the link. I've copied the link. I'm going to take it back to our page, the page we're just building. I'm going to take it back there. So I'm going to go back to the gear button. Now, this is select, if it's Vimeo, ensure that this testimonial source is on Vimeo. If it's YouTube, ensure that it's on YouTube. But because what I copied is from Vimeo, so I'm going to go to Vimeo, the source is Vimeo. Now I am going to paste this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you paste this like this, I will show you, I'll show you so that you know exactly the right thing to do. If you paste this like this and run it, it will only remove the video, but it won't run. It won't run. You can see. So you get this, oops, the embedded code for this video is not valid. And this is what a lot of people say, okay, I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it, it's not working. And you get frustrated and you think it's not doable. No, it's is is doable. So come back to you come back to the gear button, click on content, go back to your link, look at what is asking you. It said the unique identifier for the testimonial video. Now the Vimeo or YouTube HTTPS double slash Vimeo or double slash YouTube is not unique. Dot com is not unique. What is unique is what follows after. So you remove the HTTPS and go and leave. This is what is unique to that video. This is what is unique to that video. So you can also, I mean, I've tried this severally. So you can also remove, remove this and let's see if it will run. So you just need a unique identifier. What you need is a unique identifier. Voila, your video is there. You can see, voila, your video is there. So your, your site is gradually taking, your landing page is gradually taking shape. Now, it can be a video of you and your team. Remember, we're just using EMR. We're just using EMR or Rock the Boats to build this. But it can be any video. It can be a video of yourself and your team. It can be a video of you you doing something, everything is a function of what you want to do, what you want to do. Since we're talking about EMR, right? Since we're talking about EMR and we're building a page for EMR, we'll now say, okay, fine. I mean, you've told people what it is, so how would they qualify? How do you qualify? Or how can you be a part of this? How can I be? Remember, you're talking to somebody. So you want the person to read it and the person to feel that, yes, you're talking to them. A part of this. It can be, so because I am asking that question, it's a question and I want to put a smile emoji Or a cool emoji. Let me just put this. Good. So how can I be part of how can I be part of this? So I let me go back to this man. I already have the qualification criteria here. So I'll just copy this. I'll just copy this and come back and now again you can have this your own way right you can have this your own way you can have this your own way so I've put the qualification there how can I be part of this is there is there and um 
I come here, I can say additional benefits. I want to change the color of this. I wanted to get some attention. So additional benefits. Slightly bold. Now, um, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to I'm trying to let people know about the additional benefits of the two cabin. I can write two cabin for EMR 24 qualifiers. It's simple to do. So you just coin your own words, two cabin for EMR 24 qualifiers. I can just come and put I have a picture of the double cabin for EMR qualifiers here. I'll put it. Create a small break and So once I copy this, we are done. So I put this here. So I don't want this guy to be on red. I just come back. Like I said, this is very, very practical. It's a very, very practical class and it's something that anybody can do. You don't need any advanced, and there's no advanced skill, skills that you need to do, that you need to do this. Okay, good. So this is, this is simple and is, anybody can do it. And you can see, I have a site that, I mean, if you're not told, if you're not told, you will not, you will not know is FLB260. So, so I have successfully changed, changed everything. So I can change this interested in joining or want to know more. So you can change, there's nothing that you can change. So I just said, want to join my team. Depend on who you are sharing this, who you're sharing this with. This one I can change, this, since that one is interested, I can say want to know more. Now, if you don't have, if you don't have, okay, you don't want this guy, you don't want this guy, so you can remove this guy, you can remove, you can remove this guy, you can remove this guy totally, totally, you can remove this guy, like I told, like I told you earlier, is, is, you go back to the, the big gear button, and that's, if you don't, if you believe, okay, I have, I already have enough information. I don't want, I already have enough information on my page. So I don't want to, I don't want to complicate it. I don't want to complicate it. 
Oh, which aspect did I remove? Which aspect did I remove? Which aspect did I remove? Oh, I removed the video. Oh, la la. That's my second content I'm supposed to remove, not... Okay, fine. Let me add my video back quickly, sorry. Uh, add my video back, so if you... If you're like me, remember we are doing this, we're doing this live, so... If I want to add my video back, I will just come here and click. My video is my learn more. So go back, my video is my video should be there now. Good. So any other information that you want them to know, you want them to know is you want them to know, okay, who we are, who we are, you want them to know more about forever. You can add that. If you don't want, you see what I did here is that about forever living. So I just said about forever living. Let me just copy it and paste it there so that because I didn't want to leave that out. That's the vital information for me. Uh, so I'll just come remove this, remove this guy and put the, so my, 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 my page is ready. My page is ready. Good. My page is ready and good to go. So once I'm done with this, once I'm done with this, uh, the next thing that is left for me to do is to come here and publish it. Once you are done, don't forget, just come here and publish. Once you publish, it will ask you if you're sure you want to publish this. If there's anything you want to check, just say, just say okay. Once you say okay, you now have a landing page, an additional landing page that you can share. So we've published this page and voila. Congratulations, you just created a landing. A land, you can see the blue color of the sea, of the sea and wow, you have a page you can share. We, we just did this together, congratulations guys. We just did this together. You have a page you can now share with your friends. You have a page you can share with your friends. You can see, you have a perfect looking page that you can share, that you can share with your friends and voila, they'll be asking you, wow. And it's coming with your name. And remember what remember what I said, the name you chose, you can see, look at the, look at the URL, look at what the URL is lifechanger.flp.com slash global travel or global travels, anything you want to call it. So but, but so if you're sending, this is the URL that you send to them. So you copy this URL and you send. Or, or let's do it the FLP360 way. If you want to do it the FLP360 way, so if they open this URL, let me show you. So if they open this URL, I just open this on a new page, on a new page. So this is what they, this is what they will see. So once you have done this, that what is left is now to promote it. What is left is to promote it. And we talked about promotion earlier. We said, once you created a landing page, once you created a landing page, you go to favorites. If you go to favorites, and you click on, on create, this was lesson two. We talked about this. We thought we thought this in lesson two. Lesson two. Today's lesson four. So, so you have seen pages. You have seen my page. So if you if you drop this, if you drop this down, all the pages, all your landing pages will show. All your landing pages you sh will show. So for all your landing pages, I am looking out for this landing page that we just created now. I can't find it. We called it um, 
We call the global travels. Let me go, let me go back and see why it's not there. Let me go to my landing page and check. And check whether it's there first. But I've had I have the maximum number of landing. There are so many landing pages here. Okay, look at the one we just okay. This is this is the one we just we just created. So why is it not? I'm trying to see the name it came out with. I'm supposed to. Okay, it's running. It's running perfectly. So if I click on share, so you can go back here. You can see what I just did now. I went back, I went to the landing page. I went to the landing page proper. I clicked on share, the share button on that particular one, yes. So create, create share link. So that's the way to promote it, create share link. So where do you want where do you want it to go to? Okay, I want it to go to Facebook. I want it to go to LinkedIn. I want it to I want to just copy a short link for it. I want it to go to Twitter. So let's say where do I want to promote this now? Let's say I take it, I click and I'm promoting on Facebook. Let's see the promotion now. So I I I, I am promoting this on Facebook. I don't want to promote it on the company's Facebook page. So I want to promote it on my own Facebook page. So I'm switching user. I'm switching user. Okay, fine. Because I have a lot of. <laughs> the switching user. Ooh, la la. This is not what I intended to do, guys. Let me go back. Share. I just, I just, I just, I just made a mess of it, right? Okay, fine. Let's let me let me share on LinkedIn. You can share on Facebook. Facebook is I have so many accounts there, so I mistakenly clicked on change user, and that's that logged me out. Okay, I want to share this on LinkedIn. If I want to share on LinkedIn, so I just click on. I just click on share. Share as a post. You see, this is my link I can say, okay, an ideal, I just remember, guys, I just remember, an ideal way to travel is not to jack back. Yes, this, this, this we can relate with, right? So I just posted it. I just posted it. Oh, okay. You're not seeing my screen. Sorry. I just posted it on my LinkedIn. 
I just posted it on my LinkedIn page. Uh, let me show you so that you'll see exactly what it's like. And I'm going to get a lot of comments. A lot of comments on LinkedIn today. Okay, good. I just I just posted it on my LinkedIn page, so you can see it's on my LinkedIn page. So I'm going to get a lot of a lot of comments about this today. So just I said an ideal way to travel is not to jackpot, but to live in your own times. So let's see what it's going to <laughs> let's see what it's going to give us. Let's see what it's going to give us today. Let's see what that is going to give us today. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've successfully, um, together we successfully created, created this landing page, successfully created this landing page, and we also successfully promoted, promoted it. Like I said, you can promote on any platform. You can promote on any platform. You can promote on Facebook. You can promote on LinkedIn. You can promote on TikTok on TikTok, on TikTok, most importantly, you can also promote on, on, on WhatsApp. Now, if you want to do all that, if you want to do all that, the fastest way is to click on this gear button. Don't forget, click on this gear button. When you click on this gear button, create share link. Once you create share link, now create a short link for that. Once you create this short link, you see this short link here. This is the short link of what we have just, what we just created. And you can just come, you can just come for some of us that are on WhatsApp. I'm just trying to get where my WhatsApp is there. On WhatsApp, you can, I don't know what I have on WhatsApp. Yes, I have this. So you can just come on WhatsApp. Uh, you can you can go to your status, right? You can come on your status. I'm struggling with so many things here. Trying to clear my screen, try to. So I don't have any updates on my status. So you can post on your status. You can post it on your status. You can post it anywhere and it will, it will fly. It will run. I can bet you it will run. So if people click on it, if people, most importantly, if people, if people fill the form, Right. If people fill this form, let me let me let me show you what will happen. If people fill this form, the form on the page that for, it is a very crucial aspect of the page. Once people fill this form, right, something magical will happen. If people fill this form, right. Let me see. They just fill the form. Uh, I just fill this form now. Let me write this. Once you fill the form with your contact details and you submit, you submit this form. You see your information has been received. Immediately this, you click okay, FRB260 will send, a notification will be sent to, sent to you that somebody just visited your page, somebody just filled the form so that you can follow up. If you are, if you are the, you see, let me show you. See, this just come. You see, it just came in now. It just came in. So it just sent me a mail immediately. That okay. Look at what it tagged. They said new lead received. New lead received. And this is the details. The details that we asked for. These are the details that we asked for. So you can quickly contact contact this person. That is why the form aspect of that site of your landing page is very very crucial. Is very, very crucial. You don't, even if you want to remove anything, don't remove that. Don't remove that aspect. I Like I also said earlier, I don't also like removing the product aspects because there are so, so many things that I can do with the product, with the shop aspects 
of FLP360. So don't remove that aspect. Don't remove that aspect. So do we have, at this point, uh, that is the end of our training for day four. That's the end of our training for day four. And I want to thank all of you for, for joining today's training.